If you have been watching my last couple of videos here on True North, you'll know that I have been closely monitoring the authoritative overreach happening right now amidst the coronavirus pandemic. So what's new since last week? Significantly more cities in Canada are instituting fines and penalties for those who are not social distancing. In other words, for those who are not keeping six feet or two meters apart when they're outside of their homes. So you can be outside to walk your dog or go for a run, the authorities are saying, but you must stay two meters away from everyone else unless you live at the same address. Otherwise, you can get fined or worse. In Cochrane, Alberta, two teenage males were sitting in a car and each of them got fined $1,200 because they were in violation of the Health Privacy Act and they weren't social distancing. Fortunately, the ticket was withdrawn, but this does show that the police and the RCMP, they're ready to fine you. They're ready to go. In Prince Edward Island, a 38-year-old woman from St. Edward actually was fined $1,000 for being in a gathering of more than five people who don't live at the same address. So the concern here is that now authorities can stop you basically anywhere, the street, the park, uh, wherever, and they can interrogate you about your life and you might have to show ID to prove your address or something like that. So this really has the potential of being too invasive and getting out of hand. And in California, um, if we look to our neighbors to the south, a man was stand-up paddleboarding in Malibu Pier, alone, in the ocean, and was arrested for A, disobeying a lifeguard, and B, violating the state's stay-at-home orders. This paddleboarder was taken to the sheriff's station and told he must appear in court where he could be fined $1,000 or get six months in jail or both. Again, he was in the ocean all by himself. And there was a similar incident to this. Uh, a man was fined $1,000 for surfing at Manhattan Beach in California. And this is all in the name of social distancing, of course, and looking out for these, the safety of these men as, you know, the ocean could be transporting the virus or, or the blustering coastal winds could be transporting the virus all over the place. But back to Canada, in Toronto, a new bylaw has come into effect enforcing social distancing, uh, or you could be fined up to $5,000. And Brampton has done the same thing but their maximum fine is $100,000. And of course, it's heresy at this point. It's completely socially unacceptable to be skeptical of any of these social distancing measures. Um, you have a lot of people defending these fines and saying, oh, you know, people are just so stupid. They're COVID idiots. We need these fines to get these stupid people in line. And, uh, you, you know, you're accused of killing old people. You're being selfish. You're, you're risking other people's health, etc. But I think we need to be asking questions here about what makes sense and what doesn't. That concludes my video, but True North Nation, we're asking anyone who can to donate to a food bank or donate to a local charity that's helping people through these hard times. A lot of people have been laid off, uh, lost their jobs, etc., and there's not really an end point in sight. So if you can, we at True North really appreciate uh, any help you can provide. And with that, thanks so much for watching and bye for now.